one of the interesting ironies about modern distribution is, um, and, and this is something that I say pretty frequently when I put on talks, is um, the films that get the best distribution deals aren't necessarily the films that need a distributor. And what do I mean by that? Well, there's examples of films over the past few years where, where they just gained a heck of a lot of popularity, either through crowdfunding or through film festivals, et cetera, where everybody knew about the film and everybody was saying, I can't wait to see this film. Uh, maybe there was a social media star involved and there were all these people that were just clamoring. When, when can I see the film? When can I see it? And of course, every distributor wants that film because they know that if they can make a distribution deal with that filmmaker, they're probably going to make some money off of the deal. But the big question that you have to ask yourself is what value is that distributor actually putting into that distribution deal that the filmmaker is not already doing on, the, on their own? So whenever you're evaluating whether to quote unquote self-distribute or sign with a distributor, you have to ask yourself, do I really need a distributor? And if so, what are they doing that I can't do on my own?